Now to tonight's WGN Investigates. The shooting death of a beloved dog by a neighbor in the outskirts of DuPage County led to public outcry earlier this year. Well, now another case has surfaced with similar consequences. WGN's investigative reporter Lourdes Duarte introduces you to a pet owner who lost her small dog when a neighbor saw it as a threat. With the pandemic, there was a rise in animal adoptions. Happy stories about the bond between humans and animals. But things have started to shift a bit. The Anti-Cruelty Society is not only noticing a decrease in adoptions and more cases of animal neglect, but also cases like the one you're about to see. People viewing an animal as a threat and reacting in sometimes deadly ways. Bentley and I were sitting in the shade under this tree. It took Pamela Harbison months to tell her story. I couldn't sleep. It's a tough one to share, but it begins here in rural northwest Indiana. It was one of those 90 degree plus days. Her eight year old 17 pound terrier mix Bentley became her buddy after she retired. Like most dogs, Bentley liked to play and on that hot day in late June without a leash, Bentley ran off within seconds. And I didn't grab him in time, but I did get up and chase him. She was close. Just about in the middle of the trailer when I heard the popping noise. And Bentley came running back at me, and I kind of laughed and said, did that noise scare you? What she didn't realize is that the dog she had so many memories with was suddenly gone. I could immediately tell that something was wrong. And she just started sobbing and she said, my neighbor killed my dog, my neighbor killed my, my killed Bentley. And I'm like, wait, what? I said, you shot my dog. Why did you shoot my dog? I, I think I kept saying it over and over again. I was in shock a little bit. In a police report, the neighbor told police that he was walking his Chesapeake Bay Retriever when Bentley ran up on his property. He then discharged his weapon into the ground, intending to scare Bentley and accidentally shot him. He says he felt threatened. And I said, I said something about my dog being little. But because the dog was technically on his property, there were no charges and everyone moved on, except for Pamela and her family. We started out with this bed here by the window. And then They've now filed a lawsuit and are watching as other similar cases come up. It's happening too much. It, it's not fair to these poor dog owners. I mean, these are their family. This is an, an animal is part of your family. I don't want my dog to die for nothing. Earlier this year, another case. I want him to pay for what he did to my son. Made headlines when Hal Phipps, the husband of the Wayne Village town president, also felt threatened by neighboring dog Ludwig and shot that animal. Disgust. I'm so sick to my stomach. This is awful. I guess he has the right, but I still don't think he should have shot the dog. It led to a social media outcry. There were no charges in that case either and was legally justified in the shooting of Ludwig. And the two cases aren't the only ones. There have been others around the country. We have seen animals really come to the forefront of um, dealing with the day-to-day -day stressors of everyday life. Look <laughs> at that cat right there. It's trying oh. to play with this girl. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's two cats no, it's playing. No, it's playing. <laughs> putting Chicago's Anti-Cruelty Society on alert. Concerned individuals that give us a call, and um, we just respond to those calls, try to figure out what's going on, if we can help. Well, it's part of our job. Last week, we caught up with the agency's field division. Is that your dog, ma'am? Running after a stray dog they spotted within minutes of arriving on a south side block. It's okay, girl. They were lucky this time. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. You'll be running for a while. That's okay. She looks well taken care of. She has good weight. She's friendly. She's just scared. They caught the dog and brought her in for shelter, but it reminds them of Pamela's case in Northwest Indiana. A, a dog can, can confuse their home to the neighbor's house. So this dog, I mean, could have easily been that dog. They fear the combination of a pandemic 
people on edge and more guns may be triggering some of these shooting cases. Are you noticing people feeling a little bit more threatened by an animal down the street or? Well, the, the thing is that a lot of people with COVID, they were confined to their homes before where they had busy lives going about their day. They weren't worried about the neighbor's dog. But now they may be. Because I didn't want to go for a walk without him. In Pamela's case, she was left heartbroken and her attempt at a civil case to make up for her emotional loss may be a challenge. It's a real uphill battle just based on years and years of precedence of not wanting to award damages for emotional suffering. All of this leads us back to the Anti-Cruelty Society. In order to keep what happened to Pamela from happening again, the agency has stepped up education efforts on what's a threat and what's not. I think we're going to see, uh, continue to see a lot of uptick in violence towards animals because of the disruptions that were experienced during the pandemic. Everybody needs to have a conversation. If there's a, there's a problem dog with your neighbor, try to talk to them. It, it's a lot going on right now. You know, it's not easy owning a dog. As for Pamela, she has a new buddy tagging along on a tighter leash. Yeah, that's my boy. This month, she adopted Max, an attempt to erase a bad memory with a happy new one. Good boy. We did attempt several times to reach Pamela's neighbor for comment. He didn't respond. Pamela is moving forward with her civil suit, hoping to change Indiana law, allowing emotional damages be paid after the loss of an animal. Meanwhile, the stray dog that you saw in our story may be up for adoption in just a few days. The Anti-Cruelty Society tells us the owner abandoned the animal in a strange neighborhood as a way to keep it from returning home. I'm Lourdes Duarte, WGN Investigates.